we've got so much going on at the minute. I, so I'm flying home tomorrow and then I go to Ibiza. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, so I'd say my stress level today has been a solid 10. I think it'll be good. I just need to set up the till. Oh yeah, no, no till. <laughs> We have started off with nothing and grew it into a global mega brand. I used to wear a hairnet and welly boots, and then all of a sudden I'm in this real glam job. It's a crazy place to work. We are here. We need to go. You have like celebrities popping into the office. Woo! It's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory because nobody knows what's behind those doors. I get a social life and a job and a career all in one. Oh my god, this is so good. When you have such a high-paced job, it's a bit hard to deal with sometimes. But someone always has your back. Welcome to the Mad House. When I walk in, it's a party. Another day, another photo shoot that needs to be bang on or I'm in trouble. One, two, three, all eyes on me. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but... I feel like I'm chasing one deadline after the other and I am completely exhausted. Get money, get money. On Monday, I had to travel to Manchester for a shoot for our new powder. Then I had to jump on a plane back to Belfast to give a talk about social media. Hi, everybody. Sorry, I'm really, really, really nervous. And then it's back on another plane to London for today's shoot with Lord China. Good, I'm a guy. I'm so busy in London, I'm not even gonna get a chance to see my boyfriend who lives there. Planning these two shoots, writing my speech, I feel like I have no time for myself. I wanna do the group shot where we shot Summer Yeah. Social media is always changing. Brendan really wants us to use smartphones, but I really think we need professional images for these shoots. It's way more expensive, but the quality is just so much better. Yeah, they look good. Oh my God. Uh, love that, eyes to me, there. Brendan has put his faith in me to make this work, so it's way more pressure than normal. Right now, I am so exhausted. I'm not even sure that the gamble is gonna pay off. Kira's so creative with the Instagram side of things. There's nobody that can do it better. Yeah, can we can we do that tight end with a palette in? Her ideas, her creativity is next level. Kira does it better than me, and that's when you know you've got a good person. When you've got somebody in your team that is better than you, you know you've got somebody that's right for that position. Good. Lady, your yeah. makeup is insane. I absolutely love my job and I love the pressure. I feel like that's where I thrive but this pressure is relentless. I've got mixed feelings this week. It's finally time to close our first ever mega store. It's the first store that I helped open. We're only moving around the corner, but my only concern is how long we have to be able to flit it from one store to the next. And I don't think it's gonna be as easy as what we think. Why are we moving stores again? What the center manager of the mall said to me this morning was, they're basically turning this all into like a cinema. Oh, so it's gonna be like a wow. nine screen cinema. The landlord needs us out by the 30th. Eight days, we've got eight days. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully we're out in time then. No, we have to be out in time. It is doable, but it just needs to start yeah. by tomorrow morning. ASAP. Um, ASAP. Okay, perfect. This is unnecessary stress. <laughs> so far, I've pulled off every store, hit every deadline, but this Belfast store, it's our flagship. So this needs to be opened on the deadline and the date that Brendan gives me. Hi, everybody. 
Great to have you all here. We have got an absolutely jam-packed schedule. We're gonna be doing some service stuff today, as well as some makeup. You're gonna be watching a demonstration from me on my pointer. My pointer works on the black wall, but it doesn't work on the screen, which is very irritating. No, so look at that, look, the point, point's here. I'm like, you can entertain a cat with that, but you can't do it here, you know? I'm James, and I'm an international sales executive at Be Perfect Cosmetics. Ever since I was literally high enough to sit at my mum's vanity table, I was playing with her lipsticks and trying on makeup. I would say that I have got maybe some chaotic energy about me. Do you know what? I might do a cartwheel or two. I might, you know, wear a pair of funky sunglasses and have fun. Because people see me as a loud, sort of energetic person, they think that that's all there is. But I am a very, very complex person. Be like me, don't be like you. I'm a drag queen. My alter ego is called Taylor Maid. If I had a twin sister, it would be Taylor. Taylor is a lot of fun. She lives in a fantasy bubble. She's fierce, she's an entertainer, she's flawless. Taylor's got a huge uh, show coming up with the winner of uh, Canada's Drag Race, season one, Priyanka. I'm super excited about it. Um, I, like, I take this sort of show very, very seriously, especially my outfits, my costumes, my wigs, my makeup, everything has to be perfect. Hey, hi, oh my god. I'm so, so excited about this. Yeah. I think this is my favourite one yet. It is, me too. Yeah. Do you know it's my first time actually seeing it in the flesh? Oh my god, the material's so thick. We, uh, okay, we have extra support at the crotch. Yeah. That's very, very good, <laughs> very much needed. Yeah, it's gonna suck you in. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm literally so excited about this. Well, Taylor went into the attic, like literally living beside the spiders and the cobwebs. Taylor went away because I felt really uncomfortable doing drag. So a lot of people had a lot of negative opinions back then and I, I just couldn't understand it. They thought the drag was some sort of like sexual deviance. I just had it all away. So I wasn't happy and I didn't think I could be myself. And for years, I didn't actually realize what I was missing from myself. And now I, I've uncaged the beast and I can't get it back in the cage. Ooh. Oh, I went on no problem. Snook, snook, snook. It felt like I was seeing a long lost friend again. It was really great reconnecting with that part of myself. I know I can, I know I can, I know we can move in this and I can actually do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be amazing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So I think it's actually made James stronger and then James has made Taylor stronger. So it's like a really cool symbiotic relationship. So she gives me the strength, the confidence, and the courage to be myself. I'll probably be in here all night, to be honest with Ashley, adding the little final pieces. I mean, right now, there's pins sticking into me from every direction. You know what I mean? It's like, ow, 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 ow. So yeah, hopefully the pins will be out by tomorrow. <laughs> the pressure's on because the outfit's not finished yet. And also there's lots of people coming who I respect and who um, I uh, want to put on a good show for. Oh, hello, hello. Mm, hello, what you think? Like daddy's new. I haven't had a great time recently, um, mentally, mental health wise, just been feeling lots of feelings. Um, so just didn't really feel like coming on and talking. Um, so yeah, it's been tough. I was on Instagram earlier on, did she see Kira's post? No, I didn't. Um, Cause she has me posted recently and then I was like, literally thanking myself, it's not like her. Michal is Kira's oldest friend. They've known each other since they were at school. I had no idea that Kira was feeling this way and it really does break my heart. Trust me, Hall to pick up on it. Because you know what she's like. She loves social media, so she's all always stories all over it. all the time. And then, yeah, she just put up, because remember last year, she'd done the post about her mental health. Yeah. And then she put up again. So I just, I texted her and was like, we should actually like meet up and like have a conversation about it. Just because like, I don't want anyone to feel like that, especially not my best friend. You just feel like you can just stay with it yourself. And then you kind of just get to a brick wall, don't you? That's it. You sort of like keep going, keep going. And then you have a meltdown over the smallest thing. And that's when you realize, I suppose. <laughs> We're just all so busy in the team all the time, especially socials, it's just hectic. It's so easy to miss the signs. I really, really hope she's okay. What are you going to do then? Um, I think we're just going to go literally for like smoothies. Oh, um, that'd be so nice. Just something casual, because nothing, and nothing drink involved, like it would be a change. I know. Um, just to have a good chat. Yeah. At 
work, everyone has their own projects to focus on and that sometimes you kind of forget to check in with other people. It's really lovely that Michal has arranged to take Kira outside of work just for a check-in, just for someone to be able to relate to how you're feeling. It means so much. Things are tough at work right now, long hours, and I feel like I don't get to talk to anybody. My friend Mayhall does the same job as me, but in our sister company. Me and Mayhall have been best friends for 15 years. If anybody knows how I'm feeling, it's Mayhall. So what's the crack? What's been happening in Mayhall's world? I think it's just craziness. Like obviously now with work, we have so much coming up and moving into like the, the, the busy periods. So it's just trying to find the balance, but yeah, I suppose we can't complain because it's good fun. I know, it is. But we're drained. Like, I find that I'm on Instagram, t TikTok, whatever, all day in work, and then I go home and I don't speak to my own friends, or like, I don't reply to family group chats because I just don't want to be on my phone. Yeah. You know, like, it's a problem, like, and it makes me feel bad. Sometimes it does get a bit overwhelming. I won't tell anybody, and I push it back and try to forget about it. Then obviously I go from work to home, get in the shower, go to bed, and that's every day. So it's like I don't do anything. I find it quite difficult to find the right balance between work and life, especially when you have such a high-paced job around social media. It's a bit hard to deal with sometimes. Um... I don't like see my friends or anything and then obviously I have Charlie that's in London so I can't go home to him and get distracted with him and it hurts me seeing you like sad right. yeah. I think I just carry the weight of the world on myself sometimes I feel like I've always been like this I've always liked to put on like a strong front And I know it's from not speaking to people and not like saying like what I'm thinking. That's when like I get like myself into like where I don't want to speak to anyone and I don't talk to anybody. Mm. Like I don't. Like I'm always gonna be here, so like let you text me, phone me, like no matter what time it is, like just like I'm always gonna be there, do you know what I mean? I don't really talk to anybody about this. To know how I'm feeling until this point. You know, I appreciate that you've spoke to me about it. Like, you know, thank you for being so open and honest. Sometimes you have to like, like, give yourself credit. Like, for where you started with Be Perfect. Like, like how much everything's grown, and like you've been there driving it. Do you know what I mean? Like, you've been mm -hmm. one of those people that's really been like the pillar of getting like the business to where it is. So like, fuck it. Like, just take that for yourself and like really like start to appreciate what you've done. As selfish as it sounds, and you have to really like celebrate yourself. It is so good to talk to Mayhall because he knows so much about me. He always knows the right thing to say. The difference you have made. Please <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <laughs>
Hey, Emma's. Are you definitely I'm coming? Definitely going. You're I've definitely got my coming. All night. You got your ticket? Excited? I've seen James or Taylor Maid perform before and I absolutely love it. James is absolutely buzzing. It's going to be an amazing show. He's going to blow us away. You know, it's my big performance in Europa and I'm just wanting to know, can I get you on the list? He's coming? Yeah, Yeah, you're going to come? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I'll get you both on there. We've never been to a proper drag show before, so... I can't believe that. I know. That's amazing. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be insane. There's gonna be loads of choreography. It's gonna be brilliant. It's gonna be a full-on production. We're gonna have a ball. What the hell am I supposed to wear to a drag event? There's a lot of questions I need to ask. The table is filling up. Fabulous. I'll see you there. <laughs> I think James wants to impress us all and show us what he can do. He works so closely with us, and then that we're all there supporting him. Rumor has it we're sitting near the front. He better give us a shout out. I'll be raging if he doesn't. Okay. So we have. Jamie, Jamie, Emma, Raina, Alex, Bria, Kaylin. Okay, so we've got 10 people coming. What? That many people are coming? That's just giving me a whole new level of nervousness. Everything is so fast paced in this company. Open stores, fully staff them, get the products in. There is not enough hours in the day. Today's no different. It's my responsibility because I need to make sure that this store is definitely going to get open on time. Oh my goodness. This store is nowhere near ready. So I have a question for you. Be 100% honest with me. Give me like a timeline when this can be done. Can we be in here Friday? No. A day will put all the shelves up. So when can that happen? As soon as the walls are painted. The other store needs to be closed by Friday and the new store needs to be also open on Friday. Ugh. I really don't like it when things go wrong. When will the paint be done? Give me an actual, like, what, Monday, Tuesday? Monday. Monday. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 Quicker. I've opened so many of the mega stores. I'm absolutely furious. But I'm kind of more furious at myself because I shouldn't have let this happen. Brendan is gonna be here any minute and I'm the only one here. So I guess it's up to me to tell him and I'm dreading this conversation. When does he think we have to be in here? I told him we have to be in here on Friday. We have to be in here on Friday. Mm -hmm. Hello? Harry, how's it going? Hi, Brent, how are you? All good, all good. Are we going to be ready for Friday? No, Brent, no. Definitely not. Oh, fuck. Um, we're going to have to close the store then and it's pay weekend. Closing the store is Brendan's worst nightmare. It's coming up to pay weekend. This is like crazy for shoppers. Closing over a weekend on pay weekend is, is thousands and thousands we're gonna be down. Um, when do you think we are gonna be finished by? Mondays are more, more realistic. All right, cheers, Harry. Bye -bye. Thanks, bye, bye. Um, I've never seen Brandon like this. He's absolutely fuming. I'll just have to say to him, need to work all weekend because we can't afford the clothes. I know that look. I know I have to fix this. I need to keep our current old store opened because we are going to be out thousands. Things have been so stressful at work, so Mayhall has the great idea to take me out. We need to do something that we can leave our phones for like an hour or two. Yes. Well, we're doing axe throwing. Axe throwing? I mean, seriously? So I brought this, we have to put it in, so if you have any text, send them now, because you're not literally gonna... This gives me like pure anxiety. Hold on, one minute. Um, Right, I'm gonna give you 10 okay. seconds, 10. Okay. Right, well, maybe um, we, I yeah. will talk to you on the way home Seven, and then bring you around. Six, I don't know, I don't know, have to five, go. Bye, love you. Four, three, 
Two, <laughs> one. Right, there we go. Okay. Just forget about it. Right, we're ready. Okay, I'll try. I can't believe Michal is making me hand over my phone. My anxiety is through the roof. I can't check my phone and I'm holding an axe. Three, two, one. <laughs> Yes, Kira. Kira, you're too good. Yes. Nice. Two for two. First one of Pop Balloons wins. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yay! I'm coming around to this axe throwing. I think it was a good idea. After all, I am taking out all of my frustrations. Nice. nice. Anna Landa as well. Oh, well that done. was a good one. Is there any careers in like axe throwing? <laughs> And the best bet, I haven't thought about my phone once. Yes! <laughs> yes, well yes! done! It didn't so how did you find that? Actually, that was so much fun. Oh my god, it was brilliant. I feel so much better already. Yeah. Like my arms are killing me, so they're literally gonna be so sore tomorrow. Do you know what though? That's our exercise done for the day. For the month. <laughs> <laughs> how did you actually feel not having your phone? Like do you know what? I Absolutely fucking love loved it. it. It's like we need to do this like once a week, <laughs> twice a week. For at least like five hours. But um, how have you been feeling since the last time? Like Since we spoke, I feel like I've been a different person. That makes me happy. I know. <laughs> I know what you're like. You just let everything overwhelm you. So yeah. like, I'm so proud of you that you feel now that you actually have recognised it. I feel, I feel like, um, especially here in Belfast, People don't really talk about their feelings. And if someone asks you if you're okay, you're just automatically like, yeah, I'm grand, I'm grand. Yeah. There's, the weirdest thing is, do you know whenever somebody asks you that and you're like, yeah, I'm grand, but you know fine rightly in your head, you're like, why the hell do I say that? Because exactly. there's like that weird fear of not being like, no, I'm like, I'm not good, do you know what I mean? Or like, no, yeah. I feel a bit shit today. Yeah, I feel like people here just don't really talk enough about how they're feeling. And, and you know what, like, we really should be opening up a lot more. Oh my God, 100%. Like, I feel like we've literally been friends for so long and the amount of times mm -hmm. that we've ever opened up to each other is so minimal. When you feel bad, it feels good to say that you feel bad. Yeah. Because it's good to actually talk about it. Exactly. I know I have so much support from Mayhall. It is honestly such a comfort and has made me feel so much better. I really hope he feels the same. Okay, same time next week. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> Let's get planning already for the next one. <laughs> Love you. But, I know. Love you too. The store is nowhere near ready. I mean, at this point, the builders were supposed to be done and it's not looking good. I need the shopping mall to at least give me a few more days. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Hey. Hello. I thought we were supposed to be closed today. Have you heard from Paul? Is You're giving me more anxiety than necessary, dude. No, literally, just got an email from him. In the further below, I can confirm the extension up to Wednesday. Unreal. So next Wednesday, so if week. Any priorities, let me know. Yes. Unreal. So we have another week. Oh my God, amazing, amazing, amazing. But at least we've got that extension. Oh, such a relief. Yeah. But I have never sweet talked anybody <laughs> as much <laughs> in my <laughs> life. Oh. Literally, that's such a relief. Maybe I'll actually get some sleep tonight. <laughs> so today's the day, Taylor's big showcase. I'm super excited and I've been rehearsing for it for the last six weeks. So tonight is huge. The biggest drag acts in Belfast are either watching us or I'm performing with them. I mean, I put myself under a lot of pressure normally, but tonight I'm really feeling it. The whole gang are coming from work. Why did I invite them in the first place? I don't know. I'm just adding the pressure on. <sighs> I have your eyelashes here, Nadine. I'll put them on. So excited for tonight? Yeah, can't wait. I know, I'm so excited as well. I actually spoke to James earlier, I FaceTimed him, and I was like, bet you better not fuck this up because there's so many people coming. It's Taylor Maid's big show tonight, and there is definitely a buzz around the office. This is huge for James, and he's really counting on all of us to be there. 
I have got work tomorrow, so I'm telling myself I can have one drink, but we'll see. You will have one drink or see us having a drink. And then that'll be you, yeah. It's actually the fear of a hangover is what's putting me off. I think it'll be good tonight though, like I think. I think James should be good, should be. I think they were rehearsing like all day today. This dark, this dark brown thing is so dark. It's black. I love drag. I think it is such an art form. Whenever James started up with Taylor again, I'm like, yes, I'm there. You'll catch me in front row at all of her shows. Have you ever seen James perform before? <laughs> Are you joking? James' whole life is a performance. <laughs> <laughs> James was amazing. He's such an entertainer and he just brings so much fun into the room. Taylor is sort of like James amplified times a million. You don't want to get on the wrong side of Taylor. Mm -hmm. Life is about having fun. And if you can have fun with your colleagues at work, then even better. Let's actually just have a ball at this event. Tits and teeth, honey. But I need to get my brow on. I don't think I've ever seen you like this before. It's a bit weird. Yeah. A bit strange. Uh, very weird. Pulled in, honey. Yeah. Sucked up, yep. penis gone. You usually see my penis out. Very here. tucked. Very tucked. Are you nervous? I am super nervous. Super nervous. Are you? Why? Because yeah, she's all here. So what have you been doing all day to get ready? Uh, makeup. Sort of. We've been here. We've been rehearsing with the stage because we were for, our first time. <laughs> it was our first time rehearsing with the stage. Wait, what are those? That's our tits. Let That's me my see. Boobs. They're made. Of, it's, it's, it's labeled boob. It's made out of a sofa. <laughs> Actual sofa, I cut it up. I cut it up with them. Um, you know, I you could like, use them. You could for a little bit of. You could use these ones. They have nipples on them. Okay, wait. They're better. What? Yes, sir. Does that make a difference? Oh my god, massive difference! Look, she's got like 25 cup sizes. <laughs> my nanny always said that your one boob is supposed to be bigger than the other anyway. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> You're all tit now. How's it looking downstairs? Busy. Really? She's busy. No, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be good. I will leave you to it, to get sorted and glue that wig down, because you don't want any wigs flying off. I know it's don't. OK. But I'll see you there, and good luck. You'll be fab. Bye, babe. Love see you me. later. Bye. 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 Me and Bria have never been to a drag show before. My mind has been opened. It was just amazing. Taylor Maid has done it again. She has absolutely stolen the show and James is in his element. I have had such a tough few weeks and I almost didn't come tonight, but I am so glad I did. One thing James is good at is bringing us all together. We're all here, having a good time, not on our phones, loving every minute of it. I'm not gonna lie, I was absolutely bricking it. You know what? I think it's my favorite show yet. The crowd absolutely loved it. It was such an amazing experience. I knew I was gonna slay it. Be Perfect always plays a big part in Pride. You've measured the wrong lore. Do you need to want something done, do it yourself? <laughs> I can't. Taylor Mead here, we need to go! My experience growing up gay is completely different from yours. It took me a long time to be proud. I am happy being a gay man. God can set you free from any sin, homosexuality, fornication. God can set you free from the life.